Hello everybody, Troy from the do-it-yourself world. Oops, something flew in my eye. And the off-grid project. I got a big box today. It's uh, just arrived in the mail. If it's what I think it is, it's something I ordered somewhat for you. I'm not giving this to you, but this is all about you. Remember the video series, How to Get Off the Grid for $5,000 or less. Well, depending on where you live and your quality of life and your standards in that area, this could be all you need to get off the grid. Well, you might be off the grid if you're uh, in certain areas. This could be all you need to add power to your life. This is certainly going to be really cool. I have been thinking about this for a while now. I specifically ordered this to show you. Now I have no affiliation with this company and I bought this with my own money to show you. This is a really cool thing. Let me zoom in the camera a little bit here. Oh, my hands are wet. I just finished gardening. I want to show you a closer up of what I'm going to be opening here because this is amazing. This is an all-in-one off-grid power station. Look at that. It's got lights, it's got a power bank, and it's got a solar panel. Isn't that cool? I guess I got the yellow. I didn't intend to buy the yellow, but eh, whatever. I thought I was buying the red or the blue, but I guess it doesn't matter. So, what we have here and that's no joke, considering some of the um, systems you've seen out there. That's a pretty fair sized solar panel, guys. Look at that. That's a nice sized solar panel. Comes in this kit, okay? We'll set that here in the foreground for you. Now, oh, there's two different sizes, okay. It does come with an AC power uh, charging cord, which is a necessity for normal power normal normal times if you're going to use this for a um, emergency uh, setup a power backup then you'll definitely want to make sure that it's charged those in hurricane areas and disaster areas are going to love this thing hold on let me, let me get a better angle on the camera here i hope that gives you a better overview of what i got going on okay now we can set this here okay we've got the ac charging cable which is great We've got the main power bank here. Now, I spent months picking which one I wanted, okay? I really thought about this long and hard. I didn't just go randomly purchase a device. I wanted to show you what's going to be the best thing for you to have as an emergency backup or as an experimental device to teach you how to get off the grid. The best way to learn to get off the grid is to buy a little unit like this. But the Harbor Freight units are $269. This little guy is $50, $60, okay? Look here, you have a uh, USB port. You have an SD card reader. You have a um, built-in radio. A um, This will read MP3s and an FM radio built-in. It's got a battery um, status indicator. This is, I guess it's your USB import, I'm going to guess. So it reads SD cards and USB cards and built-in stereo system. Cool. All right. Then we get down here to dual USB output ports. Then we've got um, a 6-volt in for your charging. And we've got four 3.7-volt outputs. Okay, four power outputs. Your AC input and your power indicator. And we're a pretty good charge right out of the box. All right, pretty good status of charge right out of the box. That's pretty decent. Now, um, what's great here, I'm going to show you why I chose this for you, okay? And I say for you because I did this intentionally because this is, I, I really put a lot of th time and effort into this. That is a very, very common 18650 batteries, people. Look at that. Those are replaceable with ease. No lead acid, no sensitivity, no problems with undercharging, overcharging. 
This is the ultimate best for beginners for off-grid solar power living. You got your lights. It's got a remote control for, I'm believing, let me see, that's your volume equalizer. There's an equalizer. It's got volume control. There's some other numbers in there. I'm going to have to look at all that. But there's a remote control. I'm definitely going to have to look and see what all that thing does. Oh, I'm looking upside down at the camera. All right. This is amazing. All right. Now, again, I know what I'm getting here. I thought about this long and hard before I picked and chose a certain device. And this is why I picked it, guys. Lead acid batteries, if you're learning and you don't have any experience in off-grid living, you can kill them. It's too easy to kill a lead acid battery. 18650s are really tough because they've got, there's built-in circuitry in the system to prevent you from overcharging and over-discharging your batteries. There has to be or they'll explode. So there is definitely char control circuitry in here. You can't overcharge it. You can't over-discharge it. You can't mess it up. And if they wear out, you pop in new ones. The lead acid battery units are usually got to unscrew all kinds of stuff and nobody's ever going to do it because it's so much work and it's easier to buy a new unit. This is made to last people. This is incredible. Okay. You got a little antenna here. Okay. Now I'm going to come around so I can see what I'm showing you. I'm going to adjust the camera better. Just a minute. Now I can have a better angle of what I'm looking at and showing you instead of working upside down because I want to go through how this goes together. All right, we've got a little bit of sun left. I think this was a polycrystalline solar panel, but it's a beautiful, beautiful panel. We have an incredibly long cable. That's that's more than six feet, I think. I'll have to check the specs. I did not remember what the length of that cable is, but that is a long cable. So I'm going to hook that in right here. That's your six volt charging port. Boom. We've got a red light. We are charging the device right now. Okay. It is charging, okay? So it doesn't take a lot of light to charge this. It will charge on low level because that's a 6-volt battery. These are 3.7-volt. That's a 6-volt solar panel, 3.7-volt um, batteries. So it doesn't take so much to run it. We have an LED light. Let me see. Where is my LED light? How does it turn on? Do I have to have the power on? There's our LED light. Really nice and bright. Okay, so we've got our LED light, we've got our battery status indicator, charge status indicator, battery charging indicator, we've got some lights here, some LED light bulbs. Ooh, that's a lot of wire. See, they're not playing games in this setup. This is an amazing setup, see? That's a lot of wire. Again, i got to check the specs on that, but that's a nice amount of wire here. Okay, so I'm not going to hook up all three, but I'm going to get two going on here, and I'm going to show you the rest of what's in this kit. There we have a power switch on there. We've got our LED light. We plug it into... Sun. Whoa, look at that. It's on. Whoa, that's blinding me. That's bright. Okay, power switch on, off. All right, I'll be curious to see what that can do in the house at night. But I'm going to take that upstairs, and I'm going to start using this on a daily basis upstairs in the off-grid tiny house as my main source of uh, light and I'm going to put this through the works in the next days here and weeks I'm going to really put it through the works but I'm telling you the reviews are good I um, saw the reviews and that's another reason I chose this the reviews are good now here's a bigger one Let me turn my head away okay the camera adjusts obviously but that's a nice pretty bright light okay so we've got a bright big light with one two three six LEDs and this one has five LEDs, and we've got another one with five LEDs. I'm not going to pull out right now. And check this out, guys. There's a uh, Apple iPhone. There's power for I don't know what. <laughs> There's power for I don't know what. I guess small electronics devices, All right? There's power for your Android, and there's power for your I guess that's your um, Apple tablet. I don't have one, never did, and probably won't, but I'm pretty sure that's your, your Apple tablet charging cable. You've got everything you need right there to charge all your devices you need right there. And I'm betting you can charge two at a time. Okay. 
I'm betting there's enough power here to charge two at a time. There's definitely two 5 volt outputs. I'll check the specs and I'll get back to you on that. But dinner's ready. I got the signal. I gotta go get dinner. And we'll come back to this and finish this little uh, pre review based on my search or research over a period of months on this particular device. We'll be back. So, guys, I purchased this kit with the sole intention of showing you how easy it is to get a starter set so you can learn how to go off the grid. Now again, I, I researched a few months about this because I wanted to choose a device that was relatively, um, let's say, indestructible. Having the lithium ion batteries in here makes these things, this thing very, very rugged because as I said, it's harder to kill lithium ion batteries when you make mistakes. If you're learning with lead acid batteries, if you make a mistake, it's already damaged. If you drain a lead acid battery too far, one time it's already been damaged and reduced its life a little bit. You do it a few times and you've lost your battery. A lot of these little devices have lead acid batteries. They're um, sealed lead acid batteries and a lot of them don't last very long. Most of them don't last past their first year because they're abused. They're not charged all the time. If you set this aside let me leave my charging cable in. If you if you put this aside and forget about it for months at a time, you can pull it out and it'll still be okay. The lithium ion batteries have less of a self discharge. So the whole bottom line is this. I got this set up as a demonstration to show you what you can get for a starter kit if you don't have any experience at all in how in solar power solar panels and off-grid energy this is what I advise you to get it's like fifty sixty dollars if if you want to learn experience in off-grid living and solar power get this kit because you've got your solar panel a nice sized solar panel really this is a decent sized solar panel okay you've got your power bank but it's virtually um, you know electronically indestructible in that um, you can't overcharge and over discharge it. It's got built-in protection. That's a great thing. Okay now The other thing it comes with all of your lamps Three lamps are included So you got your lights already all there. You've got your charging cables for your tablets This will do Android tablet. This will do Android cell phone, and this will do your your uh, Apple devices it's all right here you got your USB ports for charging whatever uh, if this isn't enough for you or you want to charge two things at once there you go and let me see I don't know how to turn this on there's a power button no drumming is one of our so I don't want to play music on here because I don't want to lose my monetization that's how I make my living so I played some noise. The radio works. Uh, pretty cool. Anyway, there you have it, guys. For people who want to learn to live off the grid and want to learn how to start out and don't have any knowledge at all, this is it, guys. This is it. You've got your solar panel. You plug it in to your, so your charging port for the solar. That's it. You plug your solar panel into the solar charging port. Okay? That's all it takes to set this set this this up. That's all it takes to set this up. Put this out in the sun, it's still charging. And it's like 7.30 at night. So you will get a good amount of charge out of this. Alright? The only thing you gotta do is not break the stuff. Other than that, it's really easy. For beginners, for people who have no knowledge at all about solar power and off-grid living, get this. You wanna have light? Turn the power on. Plug the thing in, flip the switch. That's all there is to it, people. This is the, there's no wiring. That's it, there's your light. There's no wiring involved in this. No, no skills needed to learn how to have a power backup in your house. Anybody can do this. And that's why I'm so excited about this pack. It's the most simple, easiest thing you could ever buy. And I chose one with the right price. 
I also, again, uh, chose it because of the batteries. They're replaceable, they're lithium ion, and they're not as sensitive to mistakes. They're the ultimate learning tool right here, guys. So I'm going to put the link down below for anybody interested in getting this. If you will live in a disaster area, get one of these. Have it on hand. Keep it charged every few months. Forget about it. It'll be there for you when you need power in emergency. It has your radio. It has your entertainment. It's got a flashlight. And it's got lights to string up throughout the rooms for the various rooms in your house. Solar chargeable. AC power chargeable. This is the beginner set right here. This is the ultimate beginner set. I've been looking for something like this for years because the Harbor Freight Kit is just too expensive for normal beginners to try out. And it doesn't even come with a battery. Or the wires, well, it doesn't have wires. Um, it sort of does somewhat, but the charger is not that good. You're going to wreck your battery with the Harbor Freight Kit. This is it, guys. The links are down below. Part of getting off the grid is learning how to use your solar power. One more thing I want to say. You can run this down and in practice charging it back up with your solar panel. And the great thing is, again, you don't have to worry about harming the batteries. Use your lights, charge your devices on it, see how much you can get out of this thing. Learn, experiment, practice. It won't be harmed by draining it out. Go ahead and have fun and learn about off-grid living. Then as you get more experience, you'll start to, to learn, you know, keep the battery a little bit farther for tomorrow. You know, you know how much you, can, you have available today so you still have some, some power tomorrow. Maybe I'll come back to this another day and, and, and uh, use this as a demonstration for the power unit for an, for an off-grid house. We'll make a, uh, a, a small setup for an off-grid home using this equipment and I'll teach you how to watch your voltage, how much you need to have prepared for the future, you know, how much reserve you've got to have based on cloudy days and all that. But we'll do that another day. Um, go ahead and get these guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope this is helpful for somebody, for beginners. And again, I have no affiliation with the company. This is something I just researched myself over long term and paid for myself. So, uh, for beginners, this is the way to go, guys. This is it. And um, if you got questions once you get it, please go to um, the doityourselfworld.com slash forum. And I'll be there to help you out if you got any questions with this or, or whatever. I'm there for you, and I'll lead and guide you along the way to becoming off the grid and self-sufficient and energy independent. All right, guys. Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. A really awesome start to off-grid living and we will be using this. I'm going to take this upstairs and I'm going to use it. I'm going to keep it plugged in until uh, there's no more power coming in and tonight this will be my source of light but that's a video for another day. Like, subscribe and share. Hit that bell icon. Check out the links below. Talk to you later.